hello friends this is Lakshay Aroda and in this uh, video I am going to show you how you can write an ARM template for a logic app so let's get started so as you all can see this is my visual studio code editor uh, in this I am be I will be writing the ARM template so for writing the ARM template you first need to have schema content version for that let's get start we will type ARM exclamation mark so you need you, know, you can take the help of this intelligence by downloading the extension in your visual studio azure resource manager extension you can download that and then this intelligence will start working so like i generated schema content version this is the parameters functions variable so all these will get generated automatically let's come to resources part in resources i will define the logic app workflow enter let me open the braces now arm logic hit enter so this is as you all can see it is written logic app as your resource manager snippets so it will generate this type of json so this is generated for a logic app you can see all the parameters name type api version location this you can get automatically here i will change the name of my template hello world logic apps template okay so this is my basic template for a logic app let's remove this curly braces because it is showing as error now it's working let us save this control s so this is the basic template which i have generated using visual studio editor so this is basically the logic app which we will which we are focusing upon in this lecture now logic app as you all know logic app basically consists of triggers and the actions that they need to perform on the basis of triggers so here i will define the triggers so now let's uh, work with triggers so i have decided that this logic app will be triggered by an http get request okay so let's first type the name of this trigger let's name it uh, my trigger this is the name of the trigger and then colon curly braces press enter okay so this trigger will be an http uh, uh, this uh, logic app will be triggered by an http get request first let's type the name sorry let's specify the type it will be a request type trigger comma so in arm templates basically when you are uh, declaring different different uh, uh, parameters like type and uh, next i will um, declare the kind so you have to use comma like type request comma kind kind will be http http okay after that in this trigger will have inputs i n p u it's not showing in intelligence i don't know inputs again braces on you will declare your method method will be get method and the schema i am not presenting any schema so this is the basic template till now we have developed you just need from starting let me brief just type arm exclamation with the help of intelligence you will get this uh, structure of the json template so in resources we are defining this uh, logic app workflow whenever you need to add any resource then you will go to resource section if you want to add any parameter you will declare that in the parameter section if you want to add some variable to make your template more dynamic you can use uh, variable section if you want to declare some procedures uh, then you can use functions so like i want to uh, declare logic app workflow so that's why i have used resources section okay 
so here I have taken the name type API version these all will come so main thing is this for a logic app so trigger logic app is triggered by an HTTP get request this is the name of the trigger it is the kind and type of the request on which the logic app will get triggered and what will be the input when this logic app will get triggered get get is basically a function uh, if you are aware of Azure functions and if you have worked on this then you must be knowing this is get function schema I am not specifying as of now now let's come to action so action means what the logic app uh, what the action logic app will take on the response of a particular trigger so let us start for actions so name of the action I am putting response colon braces on and then your type type of the action it will be response okay type it will be response and then your kind kind of the action will be HTTP <coughs> and then comes your inputs it will have the body this body will be returned by the function this is my first function you can also give status code 200 now let's come to the output so output all basically means what uh, we, we get after running this logic app <coughs> let's uh, name it logic app URI logic app URL so what I am doing like uh, when I will trigger this logic app I will get the output which will be my logic app URL so that I can test it it will be easy for me to test logic app URL and then type type will be string so the returned value will be of string type return value is my logic app URL then value list callback URL okay so as, uh, as you all can see list callback URL is all about it will list uh, my logic app URL get callback URL for a trigger of a workflow version it will get me the callback URL after that let me concat this use concat resource ID resource UID and then Microsoft.logic workflows I will use this as my resource ID okay returns the unique I will uh, use my logic app name here my logic app name is hello this I have hard coded you can use variable also so this is my like value concat resource id uh, logic app and the logic app name after that I will again sing place single quotes triggers manual triggers I need to specify this yeah it's correct now let's again put comma use the API version API version uh, in single quotes okay 
let me close the bracket dot value I think uh, one error it is showing so list callback URL concat resource ID logic app workflows mm. removed it now it is fine so what I have done I have basically generated the URL using this value so URL will consist of the uh, your logic app name for that logic app name I, I need to use resource ID see if you hover the mouse returns the unique resource ID of a resource group scoped resource you use this function to create a resource ID so you need a resource ID when you will be creating a logic app URL so resource ID I have taken from above Microsoft.logic slash workflows. This is the resource group name which will be included in the URL. URL will also consist of these parameters triggers hyphen manual. You can change the URL. So this is my custom URL, comma API version name value and dot value. Dot value means it will take the value of all this and concat means it will basically uh, join these uh, key join these things microsoft.logic and this name triggers.manual and this date it will join concatenation means it will concat so this is how we can generate uh, arm template for a logic app you can make customizations in this arm template if you want but this is the basic arm template for a logic app just try once from your end install the required extension in visual studio and try once uh, you will get come to know uh, better and you can also customize this uh, arm template as per your requirement so that's it for now guys thank you for watching bye bye